the jacaranda city the city where i learned to walk to talk and pretty much live after a collective of 47 years living in the city never once did my sister and i wish to feel another place home although religious daily rituals of work and school have overshadowed what great potential lay before us we set out to correct this wrong to explore and discover our city through a new name. Hey guys, welcome to Pretoria! Welcome to my Pretoria entries. Great views and even greater conversation. This taxi ride was thrilling to say the least. So with great enthusiasm and an appetite for adventure, we set out to reacquaint ourselves with the city. Funny how familiarity breeds contempt. We've walked these streets almost all our lives, and yet we've taken for granted the beauty and the history of this great city. So we decided to take a little walk around the city all the way to the Museum of Natural History which was roughly about a five minute walk but being us that five minutes felt like an eternity walking into the yard and just seeing all the picturesque scene it was so scenic from the fossil displays on the manicured lawn to the building itself you know just holding so much history and life stories to share i wonder how many people have walked through these halls before me and how many people have immersed themselves in the history of our city
Welcome to the Ditong National Museum of History. Pretoria has like the best museums and you guys should come and visit. I live right here. Summer, right here. We're going to the Geoscience Museum. Walking into the Geoscience Museum wide-eyed and ready to learn, I learned so much about asteroids, craters, the moon, the earth, the sun, gemstones. I even found out what my gemstone was and that was just so cool. Guys, it's so pretty. Look at this, it's a quartz. I found a neon kotemai. Nice. There's my little sister. She's <laughs> vlogging. Look how cute she is when she vlogs. <laughs> Subscribe to her channel. A little bit more Lucy. The halls were just so huge. And <laughs> the exhibits had just so many little, you know, mini exhibits in each and every cubicle, if you will. These are the gemstones. No man is an island entire of itself. Every man is a piece of the continent, a part of the main. Therefore never seem to know for whom the bell tolls. It tolls for thee. John Don, 1624. Stepping into the Genesis Museum was like stepping into a time machine. I got to learn about how animals particularly sea animals and insects changed and evolved over time and it was just an interesting experience. The Mama Hall was nothing short of exciting and I learned things that I hadn't known about, well, but this was my favorite exhibit because it was so poetic, and so artistic, and learning about birds that I am familiar with, birds I see every day like pigeons and swallows. I was really, really intrigued by this exhibit.
tummies rumbling again, we decided to grab a couple of shramras. So we went to SA Shramra and it did not disappoint. Bus cart and tow, we grabbed the local bus and headed home. But before we went home, we grabbed a couple of ice creams and enjoyed the same view. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and check out this coming video. Can't wait to show you episode 2. But don't wait until then, check out this video right here.